Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another follow-up video for Rising OS for Redmi Note 8. This time we are using version 6.2. So I have been using this ROM few days now and turns out the ROM is pretty good actually. So about phone, Android 15 and the Rising OS version is 6.2 stable and this is an unofficial version. The security patch level is from 5th January 2025. That's it. And as you can see here, the setting panel is pretty much same. But there are few things new here actually. If you check personalized section, you can see here toolbox option and extras. So there is a new AI, which is AI assistant Risa. I don't really know why it is not working. Maybe it needs API key. As you can see here, there is a API key option. But if I turn it on right now, as you Hello, can see here, it is Risa, turning on. Daily assistant to ask for my help. Please perform a two finger swipe down gesture. Have a great day. So if I Hi, what can I do for you? Hey, how are you? Sorry, I'm having trouble staying in touch with Gemini. So as you can see here, it is having some kind of issue and it can't connect with Gemini. Maybe we need API key to access this Risa AI. There are other things which are really good like we are getting game space here and there are a lot of options like for blocking the notification and disabling the gesture all those things and we have RAM boost option although I don't really use that and we also have sidebar option and we also have smart power off and few other things and in the security panel we do have few things here and in the spoofing panel we have spoofing for unlimited photo storage which does work and unable GMS spoofing and also unable per app spoofing so those features are available in terms of customization you are getting a lot actually so we do have theme section we can modify as we like everything we can be changed and there are a few other options like if you go to lock screen section now we have now bar which is available on one ui7 so as you can see here now bar option when we can turn it on and now if i check the lock screen as you can see here now what is available and it is right now showing music player maybe it will work with few other application if you use them right now i am not using any application so it's just showing music player there are few other options we have colors option you can change the colors face and few other things so pretty good actually pretty good selection of customization in the gesture panel we do have like three swipe gesture to take a screenshot those works and quick setting you can customize as you like quick setting is pretty much similar to all other aosp build of android 15 roms so it's pretty much similar and you can change icon shape so in terms of customization you are getting a lot actually in terms of network and connectivity i haven't really faced any kind of issue in terms of connectivity i did try phone calls and messaging but i did not use any kind of recorder here many of you ask me recorder works or not but i didn't really try that in the display section we have auto brightness and other functions so those are available in the wallpaper and style section more wallpaper we don't really have ai wallpaper here but we do have pre-installed wallpaper which are really good and we also have nothing wallpaper which i'm using right now app section notification sound and vibration storage battery so battery backup is really really good on this rom i've been using this rom three days now straight three days and the battery percentage is still 44 percent and it's really good because i was uploading photos to my google photos unlimited storage more than 50, 48 hours the photos we are uploading so still the 44 percent is really really good and also we do have all other options as you can see here battery states light and charging control all those and i'm using this device is now in performance mode and in the system section we have few other things and also we got xiaomi parts option here and if you go to security and privacy we do have both face and fingerprint unlock and all of them works perfectly fine so fingerprint unlock as you can see slow outside but works well and face unlock let me check so as you can see here unlocked by face face unlock is also working and as an android 15 based rom we do have private space here which does work and also if you swipe back we can see the last open page so that is also available rather than that everything is pretty much similar but the rom works really really well it is really smooth as you can see here everything i'm doing here 
pretty smooth and i didn't really close any animation here everything is running right now and in terms of other application we don't really get a lot of application here all the basic applications are here and in terms of camera we are getting an x camera which is pretty much similar to miui camera but it is slightly tweaked so it is working as you can see here we can switch lenses as you can see 0.6x and it's working you can see the preview of the video i'm recording right now and 2x mode working you take picture as you can see here so the camera is working but a little bit slower side it could be because of the rom optimization or because of the android 15 is a little bit bulkier than android 14 it could be that too and other things are here we also have gallery and in terms of safety net that is one actual downside of this rom right now we are not getting any kind of safety net feature because of that actually you can't really use bank application or few other application which required google play protect certification and those will not work we do have a dolby atmos support and few other things so as a rom the rom is working perfectly fine i haven't faced any major issues but minor issues you may face as per app because i cannot test all the application available in the play store maybe some of the application like whatsapp line and all those application in phone call and messaging you might face some issue but as far as my users go it is working perfectly fine and in terms of gaming also it is doing pretty well i did play call of duty here medium to medium setting and it worked really well i haven't faced any major issues in terms of playing games it worked really well this is a really usable rom yeah it works really well it has features and only downside is you are not getting any kind of safety net feature that is only downside but other than that the rom is perfectly usable and if you want to try this rom i will put the rom link in the description below so that's all about it thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one